I've been promising and promising and promising that there's more Sledgehammer Electric Turbo stuff coming up. Well, it's finally here. Let's see if the meth system works. Before I took the car with the sledgehammer and the AEM meth system to the dyno, I had to make sure it all worked. Yes, I said took the car to the dyno, as in past tense. It's already happened when I'm recording this. I know what happened. You'll find out soon enough. But before all that happened, I had to make sure it worked. So I took it for a drive. This is a short, quick video. You can actually watch in real time what happens with the air fuel. The boost is set to really low boost pressure. But come on, let's go for a spin. All right, we're fully warmed up. Electric turbo's on. First, we just want to kick it on. Just want to make sure it turns on. Whoa. It's definitely making some boost. All right, so the next thing that we want to check is we want to turn on the meth system and see if and when the meth kicks on what happens. time ABA comparison straight boost well seems as good a time as any okay let's slow her down again That's it. That's all the data we need. Let's get back and analyze it. Electric turbo's off. What you're looking at right now is the data log from the last no meth pull. So the green line in this top graph here represents throttle position. It's 100% for whatever reason. I backed off here for a little bit, but for this purpose, it doesn't really make much difference. So let's take a look at what is more or less the uh, averages and the ranges here during the length of that pull. So from this gray line to this gray line, we had an average boost of 1.133 PSI. We hit a max of 1.5 PSI. So basically nothing, but let me tell you that basically nothing, you can feel it. And it does have a delta, by the way, meaning a change of 1.9 PSI. And there is a bunch of different reasons for that, but they're for the purposes of this, they're not important. What we're most interested in here are two things the air fuel and specifically what i'm interested in is the mats or the manifold air temperature so in this top graph this jagged yellow line is the afr it's always a bit jagged but if we look at it down here it basically bounced around quite a bit from 11 and a half to 1 to 16.7 to 1 but the average was 12.8 to 1. that's about where you want to be for that level of boost now let's look again at the same range but look on this bottom graph specifically at the green line. This is manifold air temperature. Now you do see it going down. So it has a minimum of 105.6 degrees, that's down here, and a maximum of 123 degrees, of course, that's up here. That's an average of 113 degrees. Now let's take a look at it with the meth spraying. By the way, that's a delta of 18.2 degrees. When we sprayed the meth, that delta changed to 26 degrees. So it got 26 degrees colder as opposed to 18 degrees colder. And it went from a high of 115 degrees to a low of 89.5. So that makes a huge difference. And the air fuel, a lot richer. 11 and a quarter for the duration of the whole pull. Or if we want to look where it stabilized at or started to stabilize at 10.99. So we know the meth is spraying and we know it's cooling the charge. This is probably one of the only channels on YouTube where you're going to get this kind of data. So please go ahead and subscribe. So there you have it. It's just that simple. Hey, it works. Nothing caught fire. We have boost. And you can see just how easy it is to use an electric turbo setup car. You just basically throw the switches and give it gas. That's it. 
No turbo lag, no nonsense, no waiting. Speaking of no waiting, I'm going to go get to work on the dyno video. I'll catch you all in the next one.